Hey guys, it's Zero again with another um, custom saber review. Um, this one, in particularly, is custom, custom made, custom order. You know, my buddy Larry Randall from Crazy Larry's Customs. You know, he uh, he hooked me up with another saber. Now this one. I was looking for after getting my saber forge hilt and stuff like that and you know putting that one through the through the ringer uh, you know I realized it was a great looking saber and you could flourish it a little bit but there were a lot of uh, you know sharp edges on the metal burrs and a lot of griblies in the way of dueling with it so you know and it's nothing against that saber it just was one of those things you get when you buy one of those replicas you know you have to know that it looks good on camera but it isn't gonna swing around well and even like the actors when they were doing their duels and stuff they had prop sabers that had like nothing they would have like the, the where they had buttons on the the hero saber there would be like a painted circle on the stunt saber so that they could flirt look like they're flourishing it like super fast or whatever there's a you know hollywood magic but this saber was specifically built with dueling and flourishing in mind and i told my buddy i needed a saber i needed a hilt with no impeding buttons or anything like that it doesn't even have a belt clip you know because i'm not wearing this on my belt i'm wearing I'm, i carry this with me when I go hang out or whatever if I know we're gonna do some dueling or some training or something like that um, so it's real basic there's the emitter pretty cool I've got a blade plug in there as well there's the body the grip kinda got an OB-1 feel at the bottom that's like the end of his grip and his pommel now this is a stunt saber so this has no sound it's just light he gave me a cookie because he set it up so that for later if I wanted sound I could have it you know it's just a matter of putting in the parts the speaker and everything like that which eventually I might do but again I wanted this for dueling you don't need the sound when you're, you're training and dueling so let me take the cookie out I've got a the activator switch with no light because I don't feel like Jedi put lights in their activation switches. Just me. Nothing against it. I like the way it looks on certain sabers. That's pretty cool. My buddy Ricky Bobby's got a, a black switch with an orange light. Looks pretty cool. Very Tron-esque. But I wanted this very basic. So there. now there's a, a light. Because it's just the way the switches are. But it's blue. You know. It's pretty bright. It doesn't, again, no sound, no none of that crap. Not that I, I, I mind that stuff, it's great, I love it. Who doesn't like the sound of a lightsaber, right? If you're a Star Wars fan, there's a blade plug. I've got a Tony Stark uh, arc reactor core in there, you know, just for the look. This one holds the blade a little looser than my Avenger, but it's in there. Now this is a full length uh, Saber Forge Infinity V4 blade. So there it is. Very bright, again, I mean, it's not showing on camera, but I'm having a hard time just looking at the Saber. It's really bright, but I wanted it that way. But the perp this was purpose purpose built, like I said, um, for dueling and things like that. Oh, man, it hurts my eyes. So, so let me show you. I'll get the blade out real quick. Apologize for being super slow on camera, but. I wanted, like I said, I wanted this for dueling. The choke is extremely high 
on the emitter, you know, which gives you a really good solid purchase all the way around. Doesn't matter where you hold it, it's the same all the way around. Same thing on the bottom. Doesn't matter where you hold it, you've got a good purchase all the way around. I could actually grab it here, I could use it single handedly, I could go all the way up and down, you know, and that's what I wanted. I wanted something where I could move my hands quickly around the saber. So, big shout out to my buddy Larry over there at Crazy Larry's Customs. Um, he did a great job. He also weathered it for me because he knew I like my sabers to look a little weathered. Um, shiny and new is nice, but you know, sabers like me, I'm old, a little weathered. So, I like that that feel as well. So, that's, I believe, most of these parts externally can be purchased at the Custom Saber Shop. Uh, excuse me, don't quote me, but I believe that's, the, that's where he got most of the parts. Or all of, if not all of them, they all came from the Custom Saber Shop. Um, and I think this was like a special finish that he put, had put on. He painted these, did the, the weathering on here. So, big shout out to Larry for that, man. Appreciate it, brother. Thank you very much. Um, but that's my custom, custom Crazy Larry's dueling saber. Uh, very, very well worth the cost. And he, this was very, very, very affordable. Even cheaper than a saber forge stunt saber. Now, I'm not guaranteeing you that he'll give you that price. I'm just saying, for me, he hooked me up. But if you talk to him, you tell him Zero sent you, he might hook you up too. So I'll try to get his uh, information in the description of the video below so you guys can hassle him if, if it's cool with him that I do that. But I'll let you know. Thanks for watching, guys.